Hi, Shanklin. Welcome to India. We got to know that uh, you had a long journey of 38 hours. So, can you tell us how difficult was it? Yeah, so uh, I was supposed to fly out on Friday, uh, but by just sheer bad luck, my visa arrived uh, an hour and a half before my flight and I wasn't able to make it. So I had to buy a whole new ticket for Saturday. Uh, and then because I was buying a ticket on one day's notice, it was a pretty lousy ticket. So it was already supposed to be like 30 hours. And uh, so I had to travel San Francisco to, uh, to Dubai, Dubai to Delhi. And then I missed my connection in Delhi, which added a further six hours. And then you know, when you factor in, it took some time to get to the airport and you have to get to the airport early and then the ride here. It was, it was about 38 hours door to door from 12.30 p.m. in San Francisco on, uh, on Saturday to 4 p.m. in India on, uh, on Monday. Uh, a couple of days ago, we saw that uh, you posted that uh, Dexter New Blood uh, return. So are you a big fan of the series? I'm a huge Dexter fan. It's really great to finally have it back. I'm not much of a TV person in general, but for Dexter, I definitely make an exception. Uh, I already realized that I messed up. I need to set up a VPN so that I can watch it here on Hulu. Uh, <laughs> Hulu doesn't work in India, and there's an episode yeah. that came out last night, so I got to figure out how to watch that. So you haven't seen the second episode? I have not seen the second episode okay. yet. I, I need to set up a VPN. I liked it. I will not spoil it for you. I will okay. let it watch. For... That sounds good. So, Shankland, uh, you have one of your friends, Shujo Shikha Ganguly, who resides here in Kolkata. So uh, how was it meeting him in person after a long time? It was fantastic to see Surya again. Uh, it had been a, I hadn't seen him since before the pandemic and the last time I saw him was in Isle of Man where I had my worst tournament of my life by far. And so it was just and so I probably was pretty bad company then. It was just really great to see him again. He's had a baby in the in the meantime so I got to meet his daughter for the first time today as well and so that was a big appeal of coming here is being able to see him and then train with him after the tournament's over. Two of your uh, countrymen now, uh, Levon Aronian and Le Kwang Liam, are also playing here, whom you haven't faced much in uh, over the board tournament. So are you looking forward to play against them? Yeah, they're good players. I mean, I, the only time I've ever played classical with Aronian was USA versus Armenia match at the World Team Championship. And I've played with Liam a couple times, but as far as I know, he still plays for Vietnam. Um, but yeah, they're good players and I look forward to playing with them. And uh, what are your thoughts on the Indian youngsters whom you haven't faced in any format before? Uh, yeah, I've had very little opportunity to play with them. I've certainly watched them a lot and they've been impressive to me. I've, I've, see, I've certainly find myself when I'm doing opening preparation and looking deep in lines like, wow, there's games with some Indian kids here. And so they're preparing well. And when you watch them play, it's very impressive. But it's, it's very hard to really get a complete sense of a player until you've really gotten to play with them. And so I'm looking forward to that opportunity. I think of the ones here, I, I've definitely played Morley Kotikian, but I'm not sure I've played anyone. And I played some Blitz match with Nihal online, but it's not the same thing. Uh, so I'm really, I've had very little opportunity to play with this next crop of up and coming young Indian talents. And I'm really looking forward to that chance here. And uh, you said that uh, you tweeted uh, that uh, you have been to India before. Uh, which city was it? I was actually in Kolkata twice, so oh. this, this is my third time in Kolkata. I haven't been to any other city yet. I know there's a lot more to India than that, and maybe okay. I'll get to see it someday. So uh, this is the first time you have uh, playing a tournament in Kolkata, although you have been here before. Yeah. So uh, did you try the local cuisine here? Oh yeah, I love Indian food. Uh, it's one of my favorite cuisines. I love the spices, spiciness. I love curry and uh, it's it's all really great. Uh, I still remember there was one time I, I was teaching a camp in Michigan and I was staying with a local Indian American family. and. You know, uh, I guess because I'm American, they they prepared uh, like some pasta with red sauce for me for dinner. I'm like, are you kidding me? What What is this? And they're like, wait, you want Indian food? I'm like, yes, I want Indian food. And there were no more misunderstandings from then onward. Uh, but yeah, it's I love the Indian cuisine. And so uh, the only downside of coming to India is that whenever I come for some months after, when I go back to the US, I don't want Indian food anymore because it's just better here. <laughs> World Championship is going to start in less than a week. So, who do you want to win, Magnus or uh, Nepomniashi? Well, I'm certainly rooting for Magnus just because uh, I'm not on his team anymore, but I, I've spent some time on his team. Uh, and I remember working with him for the match, the second match with the Nuns and the one with Karyakin. And uh, I certainly learned a lot uh, being on, in, on his team, getting his feedback on various analysis and uh, working with the other players uh, that he had, he had brought in to help. And so I owe some development, some of my own development to Magnus. So and I see him as a friend, so I certainly am rooting for him. You have uh, written two critically acclaimed and award-winning books, Small Steps to Giant Improvement. So can you tell us like, uh, how did it come across and are you planning for more? 
Yeah, so any book that I write, I'm writing for myself. Uh, basically, I take a topic that I want to learn about and I decide to force myself to study it by writing a book. And when you have to write something down and really explain it in a lot of detail, even if you think you intuitively understand something, once you have to like really write about it, you, you usually deepen your understanding or at least make it more clear in your long-term memory. So. Essentially, I, my attitude towards writing books is I'm just going to do my normal training. I'm going to write it down and anyone who wants to is welcome to come along for the ride. And so it sort of sounds weird to say like, oh, I did it for myself. I don't care about my readers or whatever. But uh, and I wouldn't go that far. But in general, it's I didn't write it to write a book. I tried it to just do my normal training. And my next book is going to be uh, theoretical rook end games, which is going to be an absolute nightmare. I'm probably somewhere like halfway through it. But now that tournament chess is coming back, it'll take a long time to finish. But in the meantime, I've learned a lot about rook endings and hope I can put that into good use. Thank you, Shanklin, for speaking with Chess India. I wish you all the best for the tournament. Thanks very much.